try this again. This will be take three on the new NASCAR penalty structure that, that's been announced. Uh, first, I got a phone call right in the middle of making it with a minor family emergency I was able to take care of rather quickly. Second one, just now, I actually started coughing a little bit and decided to delete it. So, here goes. And again, disclaimer, strictly my opinion on some of these. But they are now going from warnings from P1 through P6. And the JSKI article will give you examples of what they all are. The warnings I like, because there are certain minor things that they do um, that I don't mind. Now, I don't like not taking the wins away. The net, What we know is, now know is the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, the win has not been stripped in all almost 60 years, 1955, on the old Daytona Beach course, when they raced on the beach. I don't like it. If you're illegal, strip the winds. Now, let me say one thing I don't like after the race is spring settle. When they go through a 500 mile, 400 mile, or 500 lap race at a track like Bristol, spring settle, when they say the car's a half inch too low, there either needs to be more tolerance or that rule needs to go away, quite frankly. It does not say if that rule goes away, but take any car on the street that has, say, 30, 40,000 miles on it new, put it on level ground. A street car now, it's not going to be the same height. With the right tires on it, the right tire pressure, it's not going to be the same height. And that that's just ridiculous. And Some of the penalties handed out in the past have been ridiculous. I did not agree with making Jimmy Johnson change all this stuff before and Chad Knauss change all this stuff at Daytona a couple years ago before they ever put a template on the car. They eyeballed it and said they didn't like it. That's wrong. Now, if the templates don't fit, then you got a problem. I have no problem with that. But, and again, disclaimer, I'm a Dale Jr. fan. When Tony Urey, when Dale was driving the Bud car and Tony Urey Jr. was crew chief, they got a hundred thousand dollar fine points in six races because when they had that stupid wing, they the fab shop put the old style brackets on. It was discovered in pre practice inspection, fixed. There should have been no penalty. Period. I don't like one of the P two penalties is expiration of certain safety components. This is an easy mistake if it's a outdated seat belts has changed in pre-race there there doesn't need to be change before the car goes on the track there doesn't need to be a penalty i'm sorry but that's that's an oversight and keeping up with nascar rules i just don't like some of this i like some of it the new appeals process is explained here i'm not going on the jayski article i'm not going to try to explain it i'd have to have the jayski article up reading it to do it and i'm i'm just going to link to it and let you let you read it for yourself. But for instance, talk about taking wins away. In 1983, Richard Petty was 24 cubic inches over the cubic, over the limit, and they took points and fined him. He also had left side tires on the right, okay for a short run, but on a long run, you'd probably, you'd probably be in the wall, would be my guess. But no, take the win away. I'm firm believer in that. I was even once involved with a short track stock car, won the feature, weighed in 16 pounds light, had five gallons of fuel sitting there, could have put in before the feature, the car would have made weight. Lost the win away, lost I think it was $400 what the feature paid, and yeah, they could have cut us some slack, but they didn't. Technically, they were right, but other people have been cut slack in the past, but my theory is take the win away. Now, one thing I do like, even if they don't take the win away, all benefits from the win, including chase seating. For instance, if the car qualified on the pole, not being in the uh, pole winner's race, whatever they call it next year, it'll probably change. Seems like they change something about it every year. But that I like. Not the three bonus points for the win. Frankly, last year, I thought Matt Kenseth, when he when the rods were out of whack, I wasn't in favor of suspension. One of the rods was below the minimum, which is not an advantage, but was something that shouldn't have been done. I frankly did not think he should have got the 
three bonus points back for the win. But, you know, who am I but just somebody that just gives their opinion on stuff. But, yeah, it's the new NASCAR penalty structure has good and bad points. I can let you read it for yourself on JSKI. And then you can comment, you know, like, dislike it, whatever. But it's just good and bad, just my opinion.